So what the what the Jews believe, and you know, it comes actually from the Old Testament that, you know, whoever makes a sin should take uh, a, sac a sacrifice like a sheep or a, an, an animal and should cross and should slaughter it. And once they slaughter it, they see the blood dripping from that animal, and they should put their hand on that animal and say that my sins are going to transfer from me to this animal, and this is how God will forgive me. Because they, they believe, just like you know, Christians also believe, that people are born sinful. They're born with sin because of what Adam did from the beginning. And because of that, you know, whoever put the a hand on that sheep that it is slaughtered and the blood, you know, drains. So they say the only way to, uh, to, uh, uh, for God to forgive us is to make a sacrifice. And that's why the Christians developed this idea and they say, okay, since Jesus was crucified, then he is the sacrifice for us instead of that animal. So we don't have to make any sacrifices anymore. We just have to believe in Jesus as the sacrifice and God will forgive us. That's what they believe. But now I just, I just went ahead and I proved to you in the Bible that Jesus was never crucified from the Bible itself. You see what I'm saying? And so that's, that's why it is a very key, uh, a, a very, like a key point for the Christians to believe that Jesus was crucified. You see what I'm saying? And that's what makes, makes them you know, mad at us as Muslims that we say that he was not crucified because our salvation is not through Jesus and not through the sacrifice. Our salvation is through going to Allah and making istighfar and asking Allah for forgiveness. And it actually happened from the beginning of the, of the, of the time when, when Adam, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, when he sinned, you know, and when he ate from the tree, Allah gave him some words to, uh, to repent. فتلقى Allah, uh, you know, Allah فتلقى من ربي, uh, what is the ayah say? من ربي كلمة فتاب عليه فتاب عليه So Allah gave him some words to repent and Allah re repented on, like he forgave him. He pardoned him. And so as Muslims, we believe that whoever is born is born sinless, no sin. He's a white, he's a white paper, he's a white book. Until he gets to the puberty and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, start writing his bad deeds and good deeds, right? And so that's the key difference between us and the Christians. And so we, for us as Muslims, we don't believe that Adam died as a sinner, as they say. And we don't believe that the sin actually transferred generations after generations. We believe that if, Allah, if someone just comes to Allah without any mediator, without Jesus, without any prophet, we just prostrate to Allah and ask Allah for forgiveness, Allah forgive us. It's as simple as that. SubhanAllah. As I said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, uh, is one of his names, at tawwab means the one who repent on on people, uh, I mean, who, who give, you know, who make people repent, you know, and al ghaffar al ghafur that means he's the one who is the most forgiving. So, you know, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his names, that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. And in repentance also comes with different, with different phases. The first thing is you have to acknowledge that you are a sinful. Second is to ask Allah for forgiveness. The third is if there is a way to fix that sin, if you have like for example backbite on somebody or, or stole or something like that, you have to give it back, you have to, to do things to fix your problem, right? Or at least repent not to do it again, you know? And then this is how it's repentance, this is how, it, this is the concept of sin in Islam. Unlike the Christians who believe that, okay, you just have to ask Allah, you just have to ask Jesus for forgiveness and believe in him that he died for you and that's it, you're, you're, you're saved. No, but, but in Christianity still, they believe that the, the, the issue, the sin in its context is like a creature, like time. You see, no, time in Islam is it's not like that. And so at some point, 
because sin is inherent in people because See, that's sin a Christian. entered right. at and that's, some point. That's and a so, Christian but the whole concept. concept of sin will at some point be totally eradicated where it will in any context inhabit man again to give you the tendency to want to do evil things to your friends or your neighbors or things like that. So we won't even, was there ever a point where in, in Islam you, be, you, you see that humans were perfect beings where they, they never had no. the tendency no. to do wrong? The Prophet Sallallahu he said, he said, if you were perfect, you will, be, you will see the angels will come and shake hands with you. So Allah made us this way, so we can come back to him all the time and ask Allah for forgiveness. That's just the nature of the human being. It's not because he is in a sinful flesh, it's just how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. Does that make sense?